Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Noelle and today I am telling you all about my past work as a group exercise instructor. If you didn't know who I was before watching this YouTube channel and before stumbling onto my blog, kikairunner.com, I was a group fitness or group exercise instructor with one of the largest gym chains in the Philippines. And I was teaching two programs from the Les Mills system. These programs were Body Jam, which is a dance exercise program, and Body Balance, which is a Tai Chi Yoga Pilates fusion exercise program. So it's basically exercise to music in which the songs and the moves are choreographed so that you get a holistic experience as a participant. And as the instructor, if you memorize the choreography, you're able to deliver an effective and enjoyable class for your participants every single time. These two classes didn't really need earlier certifications, like to teach body balance, you didn't really need a yoga certification. To teach body jam, you didn't have to have been a professional dancer. And looking back at my videos from back then, it was pretty obvious from how I moved that I was not professionally trained. But I approached my job with enthusiasm and I work ethic. I was... A group exercise instructor for the better part of seven years. So that's a pretty big chunk of my life, especially since it was, uh, it happened during my early to mid 20s. So <laughs> through a lot of my youth. I got into these programs by attending some auditions and then uh, signing up for three-day workshops in which we were taught the fundamentals of each program. We would have to teach several tracks from the program that we were training in, present them to the instructor as well as our fellow uh, workshop participants, and then at the end we were given a pass or fail grade and then we would have to go on and try to teach classes on our own. <laughs> so it's pretty much just uh, a lot of on-the-job, on-the-fly training. We would get new releases every quarter, so new things to learn. Our um, superiors, our seniors, would uh, learn the releases before us and then teach us basics and technique, things to keep things safe for the participants because Les Mills is such a well-oiled machine with the programs that come out quarterly first there are people who choreograph the entire class and then les mills passes this on to people who look at things from a biomechanical and safety point of view if there are moves that are deemed kind of dangerous then they build in safety measures like bend the knees or you don't have to jump or options like that or they change the moves entirely if they think that it's too difficult for an average participant to get. And then these programs are then packaged, filmed, released to us instructors, and then the instructors go on to teach our students. It was really rigorously done. And so that's why I felt confident that I could teach these programs and not injure anybody. But then you can only get up to a certain point before things start to get repetitive, which is why some of my peers would go on into higher management at the gym. Some of them would train to become trainers or presenters in the Les Mills system. And there were a lot of us who were just doing it part-time for the love of things. It was their passion. For me, I actually went into working on this full-time for some time because I was also doing it in parallel with trying to break into TV production. <laughs> I was at that time, where, or actually at the start of when I went full-time with this group exercise thing, I was working with a local documentary channel, travel documentaries. Um, so I was working with them as a writer, sometimes a host, 
And then I also eventually found work as a segment host for a, a program on a local channel, uh, which was kind of like a health program. I was blessed that I had seven or eight permanent classes every week, which gave me a steady income, a steady base income. And then if I wanted to, I could take on and substitute for other people. So I would have more classes, which meant more pay. I was in my 20s, so I was able to take on a lot of physical workload. At my peak, I actually did about 12 classes every week. So that was 12 hours of pretty much a mix of high intensity interval training as dance and some really relaxing and stretching and lengthening and strengthening work. So it, it kind of felt balanced. But as I went on through those seven years, I started to feel my age coming on. I didn't really feel the aches except when I was doing a lot of classes every week. But I always had this nagging thought in the back of my head. What happens when I get injured? What happens when I age? Will I be able to continue doing this? Before I became a full-time group exercise instructor, I actually had a job at a media and artist management company. I was working as a media liaison there. And I only quit because I didn't really feel the affinity for an eight-hour work day at a desk. And I thought that um, by having the group exercise instructing job, I could also try to go into the TV work that I was trying to break into. And that's really funny now because when I look back at the times that I was on TV, I was so uncomfortable with it. And I'm really not a very outgoing personality who thrives on a lot of attention, although I am on YouTube, so I probably do appreciate the attention sometimes but in any case back then I was trying to have enough time to pursue all of these things while still trying to make some money and the group exercise instructing thing was as good as it got for me one day I kind of sprained my ankle <laughs> and I couldn't teach classes for maybe two or three weeks because of that ankle and really drew attention to the fact that I didn't have anything else going on for me. So I had to start thinking of where I wanted to be in a few years time. And so in 2014, I decided to retire from group exercise work and try to pursue other things. During that time, of course, I was keeping up my blog and I had found some writing work with the company that eventually has become the company that I currently work for. Even though my role back then was quite small, I thought that it was good enough to take a jump off from. I was going to also pick up some coaching gigs for running and triathlon. At that time, I hadn't worked towards any certifications for then, but I also was learning from other mentors. So... I thought I could go into that and then I got offered a bigger role in this company that I'm with now. So that's how I made my jump from group exercise work to now writing about endurance sport and being involved in a company that does a lot of the major endurance sport things around the world. Why did I tell you about that past? It's because I don't think that things happen by coincidence and I do think that my seven year stint as a group exercise instructor helped inform how I write about physical fitness and wellness now, even in a different, completely different physical arena because obviously triathlon, running doesn't have, doesn't seem to have a lot in common with dancing, dance exercise, and yoga. But you know, the human body is the human body. And we are able to train our bodies to do so many different things, but it's still basically the same system. 
and being a group exercise instructor trained me to be mindful of people's varying abilities and fitness levels and to really try to make things understandable for the average participant I, i'm not talking to like elites who understand what i'm talking about right away and even me i was an untrained person when i started teaching these programs so i kind of understand how to go from zero to all the way up right now the fitness industry and the gym industry is really struggling especially here in the philippines i'm so happy that gyms have finally been able to open with certain safety protocols in place it's really been a big help for those of my former peers who are still working in the gym industry i i do have a lot of sympathy for them and for what they've been through in the past year and i was just thinking about my experiences back then and how they've formed me into who i am Today, the fitness industry holds a very special place in my heart and I'm really hoping that they will be able to get back on their feet. So there you have it. That's all for today. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't yet and I'll see you again next time. Bye!